there are an awful lot of questions about what should I start at? What should be my charge temperature? Um, and let me tell you that the answer is not so much the charge temperature, but it's this moment right here. If you've developed a profile, if you can get to the turn temperature at the turn time, then you're going to be very successful in matching the rest of your profile. If you miss high or low, then you've got to change the dynamics of how you're going to get back on that path. The way that you manage this is up here managing this. So, if your profile was built late in the afternoon in the summer and it has a charge temperature, um, and you're now in the winter, and it's one of your first rows of the day, well, you're going to need to put that charge temperature higher so that um, when it drops down, it'll end up at the same spot. If your daily temperature is a lot hotter, it's later in the afternoon, you've done a whole bunch of roasts, perhaps you're going to drop it lower so that when it isn't so deep, it ends up at the same spot. So use charge temperature as a, uh, a way to throttle, if you will, getting to here. Um, this is your goal. This, to me in profiling, is the number is not the important thing to match every single time. The number there is for the purpose of getting to here. This will be affected by temperature, weather, how many rows you've done that day, bean density, batch size, everything's going to, and you as the roaster are going to have to figure out, do I go higher, lower, or stay the same to get to this point for this roast right now? And that's the key to charge temperatures.